Where am I? The last thing I remember, I was in detention, and now... Is that baby Bobby all grown up? Fix stage 15 or I get mad! Days until release? 94,000 days. Okay, so that's 250 years. What is going on here? The bars, they're giving prison. Have I somehow ended up in prison again? Better investigate this piece of cheese. Move, suspiciously placed piece of cheese. Out of the way, Cheddar. I've got a mystery to solve. Ooh, that looks like an escape route. Wow, haven't even recovered the memory of how I ended up in prison, and she's already escaping. No prison can hold me. So while I climb this ladder to press a button that looks incredibly pressable, please let me know in the comment section if you have any ideas how I got into this pickle. Oh my gosh, a clue! I think I see a clue! Local teacher goes part-time as prison guard! Beloved science teacher Mr. Stinky has always had a fascination with the criminal justice system. My guy, get a normal hobby! Look at him! Walking around with his <laughs> nightstick! Oh no, he saw me! Did not think that I would end up spending the day getting chased by my high school science teacher who is cosplaying as a prison guard. Now how am I supposed to press my special button? <gasps> Whoa, that was like a wrestling move or something. So Mr. Stinky taking his responsibilities pretty seriously. I'm just gonna go straight for the button. I feel like if I can just press the button really quickly, then I can zoom on out of here. Where is he? Oh, coming around the corner. That's all good. I've opened the door and I can get through here and hopefully climb up the ladder before he- Oh, he still chased me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just have to get up the ladder before I do anything else. Mm, safety? Safe? Oh yeah, safety. So we have made some shocking discoveries in the last two minutes. Mr. Stinky is clearly out of control and the only place I can seek safety is in the vent and oh my gosh, okay. Who left this dirty sock and this stinking cheese in my precious vent? Oh my gosh, oh, oh rotten beans, this is, this is disgusting. Why are there so many beans and socks and cheese and what is going on in this? Okay, Mr. Stinky has built a giant statue of himself. Things have gone from bad to worse. I was already concerned about Mr. Stinky's abrupt career change from high school science teacher to prison guard. That was already worrying enough. But yeah, I mean, look at this. Everywhere I look, it's like there's something more and more disturbing. Which means it's time to vote in the comment section for what you think is the most unhinged part of this hobby so far. Is it this graffiti on the wall? Is it Cyclops Bear? Or is it the truly enormous statue that Mr. Stinky made of himself? Lots to choose from. What's up here? Bobby. <laughs> cool trampoline. I didn't know that prisons usually had trampolines. Anyway, let me know in the comment section which part of this hobby will be haunting your dreams. For me, it's probably Mr. Stinky's epic wrestling moves. I will see them every time I close my eyes. So the memories are coming back to me and I think I'm able to make an educated guess about how I ended up in this horrible place. So Mr. Stinky sent me to detention as usual. Oops, I think it just got clipped by a laser. That's okay, we will rebuild, we will try again. Let me return to my story as I continue my laser descent. So like I was saying, Mr. Stinky sent me to detention, but I was chilling, I was daydreaming, I was doodling, I was having a pretty all right time, all things considered, being in detention and all. And then I heard Mr. Stinky say, this is supposed to be punishment. That's pretty much the last thing I remember. And then I woke up here. So I guess we know what his idea of punishment is. Wait a second, local hero saves daycare from giant baby. I remember that giant baby like it was yesterday. I'm that local hero. <gasps> There's a picture of me in the paper. I'm famous. Ronaldo, look at me, I'm famous. Wow, I wonder why Mr. Stinky's got that newspaper hanging around. Maybe he is jealous that the people think that I am a local hero while he is a local bully. Although, bully or not, Mr. Stinky looking pretty cool in these shades. Is that the cafeteria? I am so hungry for stinky cheese stew served with smelly socks. Of course, wonderful, my favorite. And Chef Stinky is so angry that he has inverted himself completely upside down and ran through an open flame. He's unstoppable. He's coming with his spoon. He's gonna make direct eye contact while releasing a thunderous fart. Nice one. Come with me as we try to avoid the stinkiest chef in the prison. There he is. See what you're smelling? That's not just the cheese. Unfortunately, it is also the chef. Oh my gosh, he's really fast. I really want to get to this crate. Rocket me to safety. I cannot take the stench any longer. Okay, so it doesn't smell as bad up here, but I'm not sure that I'm actually safe. We've got some sort of indoor lightning storm situation happening, and oh wow, what is that? <gasps> Could it be the cheese wedge of eternal power and wisdom? I touched it with my bare hand, and now I can move with such swiftness, such power, such, oh, long way to fall though, into the, yeah, into the lava.
My brand new Kawaii Unicorn coloring book is now available on Amazon. Follow the link in the description. So I guess what we've learned is that touching the cheese wedge of eternal power and wisdom is no guarantee of success. Actually, it continues to be up to me, my strategy, my athleticism, my incredible dodging of swinging cans of beans. All of these things must be in place if you ever want to escape Mr. Stinky's increasingly impressive prison, really. I didn't expect such lava-filled caverns, nor did I suspect such fun trampoline action. But there we go. We got over in the end. I'm starting to wonder what the end game is here. Like, Mr. Stinky knows that he can't actually lock up students in prison instead of detention, right? Is he, like, aware of the fact that he is acting completely unhinged? Ooh, take a shovel. Oh, here we go. This looks like a shore escape. Love tunneling during a prison escape. It is so on brand. Do we think this is part of Mr. Stinky's prison or, oh, sorry about this, technical difficulties? So yeah, do we think that this is part of the prison that Mr. Stinky built or do we think that maybe this crystal cavern was carved out by other students trying to escape? Maybe the other kids who got sent to detention dug their way down into this crystal palace and then maybe they harvested some of these crystals and then maybe they became super riche. Oh, just falling into the void one more time, let's go. Might harvest a crystal or two myself just for safekeeping. Then I think it's time for a discussion with Mr. Stinky. I think he needs a little talking to. Ooh, what's going on out here? Find something to keep the pressure plate activated. Is it cheese? Oh, no, it's probably the only object in the room. <laughs> I don't even know what these things are. I know. Oh my gosh, it's metal cheese. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, like, where did giant metal blocks of cheese even come from? Like, what is the purpose of those? I mean, other than decoration, beautiful interior design choice. Surprising for a prison. Um, didn't expect to see metal cheese. Anyway, I am looking for Mr. Stinky, because I feel like it's the point in the obby where me and him need to have a heart-to-heart -heart about his choices. Like, I'm a reasonable person. I'm not unsympathetic. Being a teacher sounds like a really, really hard job. Um, but I just do not think that the solution um, is to build your own prison and become a DIY prison guard. That's just weird. It's a weird choice. Um, kind of like sharpening the bottoms of tins of beans to turn them into dangerous weapons. Also a weird choice. Like, what was the thought process here? Mr. Stinky gets out a bunch of tins of beans. It's Tuesday. It's taco night. He's like, boom. What if the beans were deadly? His family's all like, no, Mr. Stinky, we are just looking for a delicious source of fiber and protein. He's like, well, you know what? I could turn these beans into weapons. I could sharpen these tins into pointy, pointy daggers and hang them from the ceiling and use them to terrorize my former students. What do you think about that? So spare a thought for Mr. Stinky's family who desperately wish he would take up a more normal hobby. You know, like fishing, archery, cross-stitch, really almost anything other than DIY prisons. They're even like, yeah, you can sharpen tins of beans, I guess. Just like, do you have to use them to attack people? That's where it starts to get weird. Anyway, on the bright side, it looks like we are moving towards a skylight, which means that maybe we are getting closer to escaping. Do I just have to knock down this wall and oh, that looks like the outside and there's a flying fox. Oh my gosh, love a flying fox to safety. Oh, and I'm glad that I'm on it because this looks scary. There's a lot of stuff going on down there. Um, skeletons and lava and sharp things and oh good, more statues. Why has he made so many statues? I guess my advice is don't make giant statues of yourself. It's kind of giving, like, dictator. Like, there's just no need, and it does make you look like a megalomaniac. Which is a super cool word. That means someone who desires power. And I think we can all agree that Mr. Stinky fits the bill. Oh, whoa. Okay, that was weird. We had a, a bit of a fallen pillar situation. Now I'm a bit worried that another pillar is going to fall and crush me as I run across this open area. Okay, guess it was just a one-time thing. No problem. Um, what am I what am I trying to touch here in the middle? Seems important. Oh, start battle. Uh-oh. Oh no, I got immediately defeated by the eye of super ultimate power and evil stuff. All right, try again, floating eyeball. This time I'm ready. You'll have to try a little bit harder to defeat me. Ooh, this is fun. I have never seen a boss battle like this before, and I am so delighted to be finally going head to head with Mr. Stinky's eyeball. It is kind of weird though, because he only has one eyeball, so I'm like, what's he doing right now when he's got zero eyeballs? 
He's just like back at the lair, chilling with no eyeballs. Oh no, oh look, it's stuck in the plank. Okay, I'm just keeping it, keep shooting it, keep shooting it. And then, oh, this looks promising. Oh, oh, what happened? Oh no, why am I falling? Oh, okay, maybe this is good. I defeated the eyeball, I escaped the prison. Have I won against Mr. Stinky? Oh my gosh, okay, who's got the giant statue now? It's me, I'm the megalomaniac.